So I'm Michael McKinley. Uh, we're at Sudex in Berkeley, California, and we develop all sorts of assistive medical devices to help people with gait disorders. So the Phoenix is a, a lightweight robotic exoskeleton that's designed to be modular so that we can help people with different mobility disorders and it's designed to uh, work with the patient as opposed to simply uh, moving them, their legs through a range of motion. So we've been developing the original Phoenix device specifically for individuals with spinal cord injury. And what we're seeing is that the same technology can be uh, used to benefit people with a very broad range of disorders. Um, and recently we've started working with people with uh, cerebral palsy and specifically, we'd like to use uh, this award to develop suits that uh, fit the requirements of a really young um, patient, a, a young person with cerebral palsy. And that's a whole new set of challenges that, that nobody in the world of exoskeletons has been able to address yet. So we're excited to see that the, the Phoenix can be used in this, uh, this new area and uh, we'd like to push the company um, with the financial assistance of this award um, to, to reach those goals. Competitions like AI and Robotics for Good are, are excellent for a number of reasons. First of all, it brings awareness to these new technologies that are coming out, and it, it allows us to have a, a showcase for what cool things we're creating on a daily basis. And secondly, it's really important to get funding into these areas, and it's, it's very difficult to, to get the funding that you need to make things happen, especially in the world of hardware. 